Assalamualaikum. I hope all of you are fine and doing well. My name is Muhammad Ali, and today in this video, we are going to discuss the requirement and stipend of uh, PhD students and direct PhD students at KFUPM, Saudi Arabia. I'm a direct PhD student at KFUPM, so I will be going to discuss the difference between the requirement for PhD students and what is the difference between requirement for the direct PhD students. I will also discuss between the stipend of direct VIG students and what is the stipend of a PIT student. So as we know that KFUPM recently uh, announced its uh, application for the 2026 spring intake. So the requirement for the PIG students are minimum requirement for the PIG students those who have a master's degree. So so the requirement is uh, as a regular student, they have a degree, an MS degree in engineering or scientific from institute whose graduate program are equivalent to those KFUPM with a major in the proposed field or evidence of suitable background for entering the proposed field. A minimum CGP of three of four out of four uh, in both MS and BS. Official transcripts and degree certificates are required for the admission. They mention three, but they prefer like 3.5 CGP at least. So completion of the English requirement, uh, like you can give if IITS, which is a minimum 6.5. Also, you can give Duolingo, which is easier, like uh, which is minimum 120 required for the PhD students. Two letter of recommendation, preferably uh, from the faculty who taught the applicants uh, graduate courses. Satisfactory meeting any additional department or university admission requirement. Satisfying the minimum admission requirement do not guarantee admission to into the program as final admission is subject to an evaluation of the whole application and capacity of individual program. So this was the requirement for the PhD students, those who have already have the master's degree. Now I will going to discuss, I'm going to discuss the requirement for the direct PhD students. They required a hub, hold a bachelor degree, okay, to apply the, for PhD directly. This is basically an attractive option to all locals and internationals. It is a fast entry to the whole world of research and it takes four to five years to finish PhD. They mentioned that a minimum GP of three or four are equivalent in the BS degree. Official transcripts and degree certificates are required for admission. But I, again, I will going to ask that three is not enough GPA to uh, take the admission in this in the university, which is KFUPM, whose world ranking is 67 for 2026. QS world ranking. So it, the CGP should be 3.5. Again, English requirement. And if you have additional uh, English requirement is same like 6.5 minimum IELTS or you let TOEFL is 550 and Duolingo 120. It is way for KFUPM graduates from and also way from the people from the English speaking countries. But uh, another thing is that for the direct PhD, if you have a you will have an edge. The edge is that uh, the edge is that you, if you have any research paper in your bachelor degree, you will you will get a preference as compared to other applicant. So it is not uh, must, but it is will be an uh, additional things to to your profile. So now, what is the stipend difference between direct PhD and PhD student? Basic stipend for graduate students is 1000 Saudi Real in KFUPM. This is the basic stipend. Students need to perform different duties like teaching assistant, grader or admin assistants. If you do these kind of duties, so and uh, then you, the, your stipend will be increased per month. There is no difference between the stipend of PhD student and direct PhD student. If you work for a department like teaching assistant, grader or admin assistant, you will get 5k Saudi Riyal total per month for over the period of 10 months. Like in one year, over the period of 10 months, you will get 5k Saudi Riyal if you get, uh, if you are able to get a, a job inside a department like teaching assistant, grader or admin assistant, then you will get 5k Saudi Riyal. If you don't get the basic stipend is 1000 to 1500 real like maybe 1000 real or 1500 real basic stipend if you don't work inside the uh, department if you don't want to work preferably they will give you the work for summer basically they will give you this stipend for only five uh, only 10 months another two months is summer uh, vacation and if you take a whole summer as a vacation you will get only 1500 saudi real 
and if you take less than 30 days leave and then you will get 3000 real for those two months basically you can take leave for 30 days or more uh, so you will receive only 1500 real if you take leave less than 30 days you will get the 3000 real for whole summer break thank you uh, please subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video